basically we're looking at when we take off with the critters and uh, the first two to four miles they need to get their legs underneath them they need to stabilize and they're gonna you'll see in in, in videos that we've put together you know in the first four or five miles the cattle will start to go head to tail head to tail they'll work their way and they'll find that uh, and the position in which they're going to ride for generally the entire trip and once they get that position after the first half hour or 20 minutes um, things are pretty good and uh, as long as your, your, your starts and your stops your braking your turns are done with great care and caution uh, and your acceleration is, is done on a gradient scale and shifting, uh, you probably won't have any problem. We're saying that you should be checking the load uh, after two hours and then again every four hours after that. Um, so uh, those are the things to think about. Take it easy, let the cattle get their legs and keep that unit moving. Driving with these these trucks with cattle on them can be very, very dangerous. It can be harmful for cattle. You want to make sure you start slow, you you stop slow, uh, if at all possible. Uh, those cattle moving, are, they're, they're live animals and they, they walk back and forth in the trailer. So you don't want to slam on your brakes and have 15 heads slam up to the front of your trailer. It hurts the cattle. It could also cause you to lose control of your truck. Uh, going around uh, curves. Uh, if, if a curve says 35 mile an hour, don't go 35, go 30. Uh, you slow down a little bit. It's, it's real important because you have, you're, you're a high profile trailer as it is, and you have cattle stacked up on, on the top deck. So make sure you take curves very slow. Uh, you don't want to lay a, a, a cow or a, a trailer over on its side with cattle in it. it